What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for parts. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you! Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? 
Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Piper. We'll talk more once I get settled in. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No bull? Well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. And we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. The Institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Paper sales. Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? Paper clips on quite a ship, huh? Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look... Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground.
What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Head my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Hey. Shoot. Looking for something specific?
Well, there's a classic. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. A real I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Maybe I should just go. Swatta, 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 swing swatta! Protection for sale! Hand-tooled pieces! We 
Buy and sell everything to everyone except sense. No sense allowed here. It's prescriptions. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. Yeah, so anyway, stay clear, Hey, how about I introduce you to my Just let me know. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah. I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that would Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. The bill. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Nikki's missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. the way. Go check that out. Can do. Over here. That's a plan.
Check it out. Of course. There's no need to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'd like to, but I'm a bit short. Well, the home isn't going anywhere. Maybe someday. Geneva. Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. W wait what was that about synths? Oh, no. I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. And you are? Geneva. The mayor's secretary. I handle all the day-to-day. I don't need anything. Catch you later, then. No funny business about the mayor. Got it? I'd love to talk, but I have matters to attend to. Mayor McDonough? Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Head on inside.
Heads up. What can I do? Wait there. Okay. Come on. I'll talk to me. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were alright between us. It's hard to say at the moment. I think I need you to show me you're not just out here for yourself. That's all for now. Okay. So, you... Anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary, come on, Ma, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just Be careful down in that subway. Who knows what could be living there now? I read an interview you gave. That thing you said at the end about having hope. Good on you. Word is something bad went down. The old museum of witchcraft. You see. Head on inside.
Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. What's that noise? Here we go. Still in one piece. you go? Huh? Gonna find you? Gonna kill you? Gonna find you soon, human.
just a boss. It only makes us stronger. If they cannot kill one puny human, they are less than nothing. You fight well for a human. Now die like one. My warriors are waiting for you. Oh, 
Pick this.
A noise? This is no game, 
Human, you'll die well. <laughs> oh, now I'm mad. <laughs> no, you want <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 